Hi Peter, hope you're fit and well. It's uh, Ray here from Just For Keepers, also J4K. First of all, I want to say a massive thank you for sending me the video. Um, I promise you, uh, uh, Peter, hopefully I've pronounced your name correctly, by the way. If I've not pronounced it correctly, please let me know. Uh, but basically, first of all, I want to say a massive congratulations for doing the video. Okay, that's the, the first, it's the most important step, okay? It's the first step, but it's the most important step that you've got, obviously, your feelings out in the open to speak to somebody. And this is the reason why, sadly, most people never, ever, unfortunately, can turn their negative feelings into positive ones. Or the reason why most people don't develop in life, not just goalkeeping, Peter, anything, is they don't ask for help. Now, because they think, oh, you've got to be tough, you know, you don't have to ask for help. No, okay, it's actually very, very wise to ask for help. It's actually stupid not to ask for help, okay, yeah. Um, and, you know, there's a, a lot of people, you know, we're taught by, especially in schools, we're taught, you know, you know we're taught or people will say, hey, learn from your mistakes, okay? I'm going to say, go one better, Peter. Learn from other people's mistakes, okay? Yeah, and that, that way then, hopefully, you don't make those same mistakes. So you've done the first important thing, young man. You've reached out, um, and it's actually a very strong thing that you've done. Obviously, explaining about your fears, okay? So I, I promise you, Peter, you are in the 1% already, because 99% of people won't ask, and that's why 99% of people, unfortunately, in life, don't, don't get by. So, uh, again, also, I, I might have mentioned this already, I, I thank you for your patience. I've actually been on holiday. It's actually my last day of uh, camping. Uh, I've got my pot noodle at the ready, as you do when you go camping. So I've took my family away for, for just over two weeks now. It's my last day today, and it's the first opportunity I've found somewhere quiet on the campsite to obviously do this video for yourself. Well, it's actually just off the campsite. So, uh, yep, so thank you for your patience. So I'm going to answer the three main questions that you asked me. The first one, obviously, you're worried about making the mistakes in the game. Second one, you're worried about, worrying about getting injured. Third one, you're worrying, worrying about what your teammates say. And again, I, I can relate to all this, okay, because as, I was a professional goalkeeper for 10 years, and I went through the, the, the same emotions. And I've been running just for keepers now for nearly 25 years. Um, and I promise you, uh, these are the most common asked questions that I get asked and I help my students with and I've coached all over the world we have, my organization has coached well over 500,000 500, goalkeepers now Peter so we've coached a lot of a lot of young goalkeepers that, is, that includes the, the mums and dads as well sorry so we've helped a lot of people uh, and it, it's more or less the same questions that we get asked so the, so the reason why I'm, the reason why I've mentioned that to yourself please don't think you're in the minority when you're thinking negative and you're you know, uh, you're not feeling confident about yourself. You you will feel as if that you're the only one in the world that's feeling that way. Please trust me uh, on this one. Um, sorry, I thought some I thought someone was here uh, letting fireworks off there. Please trust me on this one, Peter. Uh, you know, um, the majority of people are underconfident, they're scared, etc. So you're not being weak. You you're not in the minority. It's the, actually the majority of people. That actually are, are uh, nervous, scared, underconfident. But the key, obviously, to, to, to your success is how to manage those nerves, how to manage that, obviously, self doubt. And again, the reason why most goalkeepers become professional and professional is because they get this right up here. So, this is why we've done the 30 day challenge because if you can get this right up here, uh, I promise you, uh, Peter, uh, you'll be ahead of your competition. Uh, and that's why I'm very big on obviously teaching all the mental, mental side of goalkeeping. So the first question you asked was to obviously you were concerned about you know before the game you were concerned about making the mistakes and and then because you were thinking about making the mistake in the game you were making a mistake in the game. And again, excuse me, that's one of the things I would have said to you. Okay, uh, I would have said, hey Peter, if you're thinking about making mistakes in the game, you're probably going to make mistakes in the game. So obviously you found that out already, which is brilliant, by the way. Okay, it's brilliant because at least now, you're, you know, the, the, if you're aware of something, you can always put it right, you can always fix it. When you're not aware of something, Peter, you're always going to make the same mistakes, okay? So the key is is that you're, that you're aware that you're making these mistakes. Uh, and say, I was a professional goalkeeper for 10 years and I went through exactly the same as yourself, Peter. I was worried about making mistakes and I did make mistakes in the game. And I've been running just for keepers now for 25 years and we've helped thousands of goalkeepers, thousands upon thousands of goalkeepers, and they've all got the same concern. As, you, as, as yourself so how do you combat uh, obviously the million dollar question how do you combat 
not having negative thoughts or being nervous before a game. Now, first of all, it's actually good to be nervous. It's good to be scared. And you, I know you mentioned that in the video. It's it's good because it keeps you on your toes, etc. But you can't allow it to go too far where it obviously just controls your mind because if you've got too much negative thoughts you're going to have negative thoughts unfortunately result in negative actions and then negative actions then result in negative habits and then when you have negative habits that's obviously when things become a problem but again the great thing about it peter is that you've you've, you've spotted it most people most goalkeepers unfortunately don't spot it they get to the point where they've got negative habits and once you get to that stage you can't come back at your stage you can easily come back young man which i'm going to show you how to do it now so what happens is and there's an amazing saying i think it was like thomas edison it might have been or it might have been henry ford who founded the, the, the ford motor car organization and he says if you if you think you can or if you think you can't you're right so what he's basically saying is if, if your mind thinks it can do something or if it thinks it can't do something it's right so you've got to be really careful about i call it policing your thoughts okay and that's what you're unintentionally that's what you've unintentionally been doing which is brilliant by the way peter so what i want you to do now okay yeah is first of all is start visualizing so before each game or your training sessions start visualizing yourself and you'll hear me go on about this over the 30 days uh, start visualizing yourself uh what was it um basically having the best game you know every save is fantastic you save the penalties your, your kicking's amazing your distribution your throwing's amazing you know even you know uh, so go through your perfect game everything fantastic you know your supporters your teammates your management all, all all giving you praise sounds nonsense but i promise you it works okay and i want you to be doing this for like three or four minutes two or three times a day doesn't take a long time so whenever you're in a quiet you know whether you're in your room you know whether or not you're um you're, you're on the bus or you're, you're getting a, a lift in the car again just for three or four minutes visualize yourself everything going perfectly well what will happen as well what will happen as well you'll still have the negative thoughts okay so if a negative thought pops into your head especially before the game what I want you to do, and this is what I personally do as well, by the way, I say to myself, or sometimes I say it out loud if there's nobody around, because I promise you, you can't escape negative thoughts, okay? Don't don't worry about that, okay? I have negative thoughts every day. Everybody does, but the key is, is to, the, the key to success in your success, Peter, is to recognize a negative thought straight away, i.e. police your thoughts and stop it in its tracks. Because what most people do, they have a negative thought, then another one, another one, another one, and before you know it, they've had five minutes with a negative thought. So what I do when I have a negative thought, I quickly say to myself, no, 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 no. Or sometimes I'll say it out loud, no, 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 no. In fact, sometimes when my wife hears me say, no, 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 she goes, oh, negative thought, I go, yes. And then what happens then? So if you have a negative thought, you go, no, 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 no. So let's say, for example, you visualize yourself dropping across. Okay, yeah. You go, no, 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 no. And then you replace that negative thought with five or 10 positive thoughts. So you visualize yourself coming and catching that cross, coming and catching that cross, coming and catching that cross. It sounds super simplistic, <clears throat> but it works. But here's the, key, here's the key, Peter. You've got to do it consistently, okay? If you, if you do it once a week, okay, yeah, it's, it's gonna take a long time for you because it's gotta become a habit. So for me, I don't even realize now, if I have a negative thought, I go, no, 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 no positive thought so literally a negative thought stays on my head a millisecond uh, and i'm still getting on with my life but i've been doing this for years you've got to do it consistently and the beauty about it as i say peter it, you can do it anywhere it only takes a few minutes do it two or three times a day do it, especially do it be on a friday before a game do it be traveling in the car just even if you've got your earphones on again when you see these premiership players with the earphones they're listening to music yeah but also in their mind i promise you they will be going over their perfect game in their head and they will they will have negative thoughts i'll guarantee it. even premiership players will have negative thoughts but they will override one negative thought with at least five positive thoughts so that's how you start to do it but it takes time if you do, as I say, if you do it once a week, it's going to take you a long time to get it into your subconscious as a habit. If you do it once once a day, it's obviously going to happen faster. If you can do it two to three times a day, I promise you within a few short months or within the 30 days, I promise you, you'll start to see a difference. I'll guarantee that, Peter, as long as you do it two to three minutes a day. So that's the first thing you need to do. It's the first thing, sorry, first thing I want you to realize is you're not, you're not being weak, okay? Don't think you're being weak. 
Everybody has negative thoughts, okay? Because people think, oh, I must be weak, it must be only, it must be only me. It's not. The majority, 99% of the population have negative thoughts, but unfortunately, they don't understand how to police the thoughts. So the first thing I want to say is, look, you're not weak. It's natural. Second thing I want to say as well uh, is that at least you're aware of it, which is really, really important, which is good. Most people are not aware of it. And the third thing now is you now visualise, and you'll hear over the 30 days, uh, the 30 days is basically about visualising, uh, Peter. So you, you're going to visualise now yourself having great games, okay? So two or three times a day, visualise yourself having a, a good game, you know, the best game possible, the best saves, the crowd cheering, your teammates patting you on the back because you've, you've got man of the match. You do that two or three times a day, you deliberately visualise. And out, throughout the day, if a negative thought pops into your head, remember, no, 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 no. Five positive thoughts. And if you've got to do that, 10 times a day, do it 10 times a day, because I promise you, the longer you do it, the less you don't have to do it. I might get a negative thought, I don't know, three or four times a day, but as I say, once you do it long enough, Peter, it becomes a habit, then your subconscious then goes, no, 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 and it's a positive thought while you're still getting on with your life. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, obviously let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll explain it further. The second thing as well, and it's only natural, especially when you're young and you're learning your technique, is obviously you don't want to get hurt. <clears throat> when you when you obviously you're diving again everything's back to visualization so again if there's a scenario where you've visualized yourself getting injured again you say no 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 and you visualize five positive ones where you come out bang and you're solid and you get the ball or it could be the case where you might have got injured in a game what you actually do then is you visualize yourself like no this is how i've done it and i never got hurt so you override that nasty memory with a positive emotion if that makes sense and again i know it sounds crazy but your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the lie or the truth and you can actually trick your mind into thinking something that happened three or four months ago where you got injured actually you know what i didn't get injured as well sounds crazy just please trust the pro trust the process uh, peter so uh so again go back to visualization visualize yourself you know doing everything correctly being big and strong and not getting injured also as well this is where goalkeeping coaches are really important so where you're for, for example if you're frightened to dive at the center forward's feet tell your goalkeeping coach okay yeah and you just practice that so when you're with your team or you know you say to your your manager look i'm a bit frightened and it's, again say listen this is what ray newland the founder just for keepers has, has told me to do look i'm a bit frightened it's unsure at diving at center forward's feet listen you know for the, until I, I can get my mind right can i just do you know can i can i five five even if i just go, go on my own you know, or with another coach, or, or obviously you need one of the players. I just need to practice for five minutes every session. And then all you do then is for five minutes, is, and you don't have to go a thousand miles an hour, because obviously you could get hit, you could hit your teammate. All you want to be doing is, and, and you tell your teammate, look, I'm just, we'll, just, we'll both do it at 50%, So because you, you're only practicing your technique. So what happens in a game, so you're visualising yourself, obviously not getting injured and doing everything solid, but also as well, you've, you've, you've got to practice it as well, Peter, it's important. So if you've got a goalkeeping coach, get them to practice. If you can practice it on your own, practice it on your own, get a ball. I used to do that many, many times and I tell my students to get to do that. If you, For example, if a student is, you know, the, 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 the scared to dive on the left, I say, listen, just put the ball to your left-hand side and you start off on your knees and you fall to, on your left-hand side. You do that until you get confidence, and then you, you, you go up onto your haunches and you fall on your left-hand side. You do that until you're confident, then you stand, you, 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 sort of, you, you get higher and higher and higher uh, until you dive into your left. And within five, six, seven weeks, uh, you, most goalkeepers, when you do that long enough, they don't. most people won't know the difference between the good and bad side because it's all about practice, okay? So when you're scared of getting injured, it's, you've got to do practice, visualise, like we've said. It's important that you visualise it. If you have a negative uh, uh, thought, replace that with at least five positive thoughts. But you've got to practice as well with your goalkeeping coach, on your own with the ball, if you can, and with your team, go and have a word at your coach, your manager, and say, look, this is what I need to do. Ray Newland, the founder just for keepers, advised me to do this. I just need five minutes at the end of each session just to go over it. And if, I promise you, I promise you, Peter, if you did that for, you know, three, four, five, six sessions, not two or three sessions, you'll see a massive difference. So I hope that helps. Point number three, you said, you obviously, you're, a, you're 
you're concerned that your teammates are talking about you again that's because you're visualizing that that's what's happening okay yeah no it sounds crazy i promise you what you think okay yeah becomes your actions your actions become your habits i've done this myself and so i know exactly what you're going through thinking oh my god everyone thinks I'm a, I'm a bad goalkeeper no one no one's got any confidence in me and what happens then is once you start talking like that uh we're, we're all made of energy peter you give off an energy uh, which people honestly will sense and that energy is obviously you're, you're basically telling people hey you don't trust me so your players are going to go hey we don't trust you so you've got to change that energy okay again it goes back to visualization so instead of visualizing your players uh, you know thinking oh my goodness me Peter's not good enough Peter's letting us down do it the other way I promise you do it again when you visualize for two or three times a day visualize your your players, your management, your coaches, the parents on the line, visualise everyone saying what an amazing goalkeeper Peter is. He's the best goalkeeper in the league. He saves he, he saves us the game in, game out. And I promise you, you start giving that order off you. Watch the difference, okay, with people. Honestly, people are like magnets, okay? Yeah, no, when you put, is it, is it north and north together? One spins around, doesn't it? So if you've got, it's like negative energy. If you put two magnets together and it's negative, the magnets will split apart. The human beings like that, so you've got to make sure that you're positive and negative. Or, or, I forgot what it is now, which what it is now, but if you give off a positive vibe, uh, that, that you, I promise you, your energy will go into other people. And again, I know this from first-hand experience because I too felt like yourself when I played for certain professional football clubs. Um, I thought that my players never really thought that much of me and it, it, it ended up they didn't. And it, because it was me, it was my fault, I talked them into it, if that makes sense. And it was other players, other goalkeepers who were, I was competing against who were not as good as me, but the, the confidence was much, ability, ability wise, they weren't as good as me, but confidence wise, they were way ahead of me. And they just gave off the vibe. They were super confident and everybody loved them. And everybody loved them, you know what I mean? And So I, I learned that lesson painfully myself by me being negative, okay, and then getting negative back. But then watching these other goalkeepers are going, okay, right, so I'm a better goalkeeper ability-wise, but they're getting more success because of up here. And as soon as I started changing my thoughts and thinking, hey, my teammates like me, my managers like me, my supporters like me, uh, my game improved and also the the um, my players they also they were more warmer towards me okay uh, I, but again you've already mentioned it as well you, you know you, you you've all you've already said in the video to myself that you feel as if you know maybe it's because of your thoughts that's why your players are like that and it will be okay it, it will be and it sounds crazy okay yeah it will be but so here's your homework uh, you know so visualize two three times a day the perfect game, okay, yeah, you playing the perfect game, etc. Throughout the day, if you have a negative thought that you've dropped across or you know, a ball's gone through your hand, remember, no, 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 replace that one negative thought with five positive thoughts. When you're visualising as well throughout the day, yeah, you're visualising yourself making fantastic saves, etc. Uh, Visualise the crowd shouting your name, the parents shouting your name, the manager high-fiving you, your players giving you a big hug. Uh, Visualise that as well. And I promise you, if you do that every single day throughout the 30-day challenge, I'll guarantee by the end of it, you'll see something really, really different. Really, really will. Um, so, uh, hope that's it. Sorry, someone just made some noise there. Do apologise to you, mate. Um, and then last but not least, uh, I've, I've got your email as well. So what I'll do with the email um, is I'm going to put, all, in one email, I'm going to put all the course, okay? Because you, you, should, you should have had, you should be getting an email every week. So uh, I'm going to put all, all of the, the, the 30 day course in one email. So you've got everything. So if there's anything else you need, Peter, contact me anytime, okay? If you want to do another video, you can, I'll answer. You don't have to just do one video, you can do, a video a month even even after the 30 days i'm still i'm not going to go away i'm still here to help you so if you want another do another video at the end of 30 days to see how you're feeling please feel free to do that and then obviously i'll, I'll come back to you uh, obviously with with my answers so hope that helps your man and um, but please remember super important okay you're aware of your thoughts which is brilliant okay yeah because when you're aware of something you can always put it right unfortunately it's the goalkeepers that are unaware that their thoughts are obviously not helping them. Um, and if you're unaware, you can never put them right, okay? And that's why, unfortunately, most goalkeepers don't achieve their dreams is because they're unaware 
that the, they, they're basically the, the self destroying themselves. Okay, you're aware of your negative thoughts, which is and again, please remember it's only natural. Everyone has negative thoughts. I still do every single day, but the key is is to understand. Obviously, to police your mind, and as soon as you have a negative thought, Peter, boom, you change it with a positive one. And I promise you, you know, uh, I promise you, by the if you if you do do it consistently for the next thirty days, two to three times a day, I pro and do another video at the end of the thirty days. I promise you, I bet you, you will see uh, an improvement. Uh, okay, hope that helps your man. If you need anything else, contact me anytime. Take care.